us praise in the Lord. We are together again. He won a call. Oh, 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 oh. something good is going. Something wonderful is in store. We are together again. We are together again. Just praising the Lord. Just praising the Lord. We are together again. Oh, we are together again. We are together again. We are together again. He won a call. Oh, 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 I say something good is going to happen. Oh, something wonderful is in store. We are together again. We are together again. Just praising the Lord. Just praising the Lord. Do something new in my life. Something wonderful in this place. Something marvelous in this place. Something powerful in this place, something marvelous in this place. Oh Lord, hallelujah. You are welcome in the presence of the Lord. The Bible says in the presence of the Lord, there is fullness of joy, there is liberty, and as his right hand, there are pleasures forevermore. Even as we have gathered this morning, this day that we celebrate, the resurrection of our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ, an event which has occurred over 2,000 years ago, but each year, year by year, Christians all over the world celebrate the resurrection of our Lord Jesus Christ because Christ lives I live because Christ lives you live because Christ lives we live hallelujah hallelujah are you happy are you happy are you excited we go to scriptures then we pray hallelujah you know, the Bible says in, in the book of St. Mark, chapter 16, I read from verse 1 to verse 8. The Bible says, Now, when the Sabbath day was passed, Mary Magdalene, say Mary Magdalene. May there be Mary Magdalene this morning in this place. She was a woman that was so attached to Christ. Hallelujah. So this morning, may all the women be attached to Christ. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. But we're going also for the men. The Bible says, now on the Sabbath day, when the Sabbath was passed, Mary Magdalene, mother of James, and Salome bought spices that they might come and anoint him. Very early in the morning, in the first day of the week, they came to the tomb where the sun had risen. And they said among themselves, who will go away the stone from the door of the tomb for us? But when they looked up, they saw that the stone had been rolled away, for it was very large. And entering the tomb, they saw a young man clothed in a long white robe sitting on the right side, and they were alarmed. But he said to them, do not be alarmed. You seek Jesus of Nazareth, who was crucified. He is risen. He is not here. See the place where they laid him. But go, tell his disciples 
and Peter. And he's going before you in Galilee. There you will see him. As he has said to you, verse 8. So when they went out quickly and fled from the tomb, for they trembled and were amazed. And they said nothing to anyone because they were afraid. Ladies and gentlemen, brethren in the Lord, in this day that we celebrate the resurrection of Christ, hallelujah, we're going to say some prayer this morning from this scripture, hallelujah. First of all, I thank God Almighty, and I also thank the grace of God upon the man of God, my beloved pastor and brother, and his wife, for this great support. I'm seeing Pastor Williams, I, once again, I celebrate you, sir. And all the men and women here this morning, and the children, hallelujah. Now, don't look at the numbers, but one thing we are encouraging you that position yourself. You have to be in the right place. And I thank God that you are in the right place. But also you have to have the right disposition. I pray God that you have the right disposition this morning. And also you position yourself in the in the with the right position. Hallelujah. How do I know that? Because in the book of Acts, chapter 2, the Bible says they were when the disciples were together, they were in one accord, and then suddenly. Hallelujah. So I believe this morning that there is going to be a sudden explosion of the power of God in this place. If we position ourselves properly, if we are in the right disposition, and of course in the right place, although this place has been used for various activities, but we are going to stand under the power of grace that has been given unto us to come against the powers of evil. Hallelujah. 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 God is not a God that of confusion. Neither, I mean, things happen by accident. I believe that God has ordained this day for us to come together, for you and I to be in this place. I never expected that I was going to come. Hallelujah. But by His grace, He once again made me to come in this place. And I thank God for that. So, we are going to pray. Lift up your hands and begin to thank God this morning. Lift up your voice and begin to thank God this morning. Thank Him for this day. Thank Him for this time. Thank Him that you, you for giving you life. The life that God has given you is because you have life. That's the reason why you can worship, why you can pray, why you can praise Him, why you can do activities. Because it is only the living that will do all the things. The dead cannot do it. We then lift up your voice. Let's lift up our voice and begin to worship. In the name of Jesus Christ, remember when the disciples they were together in that upper room, they were together in fellowship and in prayer and in breaking of bread. And then suddenly, Hallelujah! 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 The Bible says in verse 4, but when they looked up, they saw that the stone had been rolled away. Now, lift up your hands. Say, oh God, I look up unto you this morning. My eyes are unto you this morning. My eyes are unto you this day. As I look up unto you, oh God, may I see you. He said, sit in my face. Oh God, as I look up unto you this morning, may I see you. May I have a, a, a encounter with you, oh God, in the name of Jesus Christ. Say, oh God, I've been looking. I've been looking at things, different things. I thought these things, they will appease me. They will settle my issues. They will settle my problem. But I realize that the things which I have been setting my eyes upon, they have fed me. They have fed me more fully. But today, I am here in this day that we celebrate the resurrection of God. Say, I look upon to your God. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Now, it says that the stone had been rolled away. Now we're going to pray. Say every entrance in this service this morning. As I lift my hand, as I open my mouth, as I make my declaration, that every entrance in this service this morning, everything that is representing a barrier, a stone, an object, 
lift as I lift my hands as I open my mouth. Be all the way, 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 be all the way. I felt in my spirit, Christians, and I got you to pray. I'm encouraging you to pray. Pray like you never prayed before. There is no, no, no cause for you to be lukewarm. If either you are hot or you are cold, but I pray that you become hot. Hot in the spirit. Hot in the spirit. Full of fire. Fire for God. These are the last days. Ladies and gentlemen. Two more prayer points in our news. Remember, the Bible says when you came out that morning, the soul that is still are being rolled away. That means Christ is risen. Lift up your hands. Say for the power of resurrection. The power that raised Jesus Christ from the dead. Let the power of resurrection be activated in this place this morning. In my life this morning. In all over the world this morning. That the power of resurrection, the power that raised Jesus Christ from the dead, begin to raise up my spiritual level. The spiritual level of this ministry. Be raised up in your life. Be raised up in my home. Be raised up in this nation. Be raised up. Be raised up. Be raised up. But the power that raised Christ from the dead. Now, Makados, the Spirit of God wants us to pray. That is still me from this. The Spirit of God wants you to charge. Charge in the Spirit. 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 Let there be light in your life, in my life, in this place. By the power of resurrection that raised Jesus from the dead. Every new promise in our life be raised up, be rolled away, be planted away in Jesus' name. Now, in this every territorial spirit, environmental powers, authorities, lift up your hands. The Bible says, from six days of John the Baptist until now, the kingdom of heaven suffered violence, and violence will take it by force. So lift up your voice. Say, I take authority over the dominions, over principalities, over authorities, over wicked powers operating in the realm of the spirit in this area, in this territory. As I pray, as I lift my mind, as I lift my voice, let the fire of God begin to chase them from this territory, from this building. Let the fire of God begin to guide them, begin to chase them out. Oh, where they belong, in the name of Jesus. Now, begin to commit to the service to the hands of God. Everything that is going to be here, let it be for the glory of God. The man of God, those with the praise, the worship, the minister of the world. Anything that's happening here, let it be to the glory of God. Let every flesh succumb to the will of God. In the name of Jesus, we have to pray in the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus, no flesh will glorify in this place. Only God, only God, the Father. The Son, the Holy Spirit will glorify in the flesh this morning. Every flesh. Thank you, Lord. We give you the praise. Just thank you for the service this morning. We thank you for what you said to me. Thank you. We worship you. We give you the praise. Hallelujah. 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 Hallelujah, hallelujah. Jesus Christ is risen over 2,000 years ago. That is not that powerful in all the earth than the name of Jesus. The Bible says in heaven on earth, the name of Jesus is powerful and is still powerful yesterday, today, and forever. Hallelujah. Give God the glory. Give God the glory.
Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Amen. Amen. Happy Easter, beloved. Amen. Jesus is the, is the reason why we have gathered this morning. Amen. I pray the power of, of his restoration will be made known unto us as we have gathered in the name of Jesus. Amen. Good morning once again to all our viewers. Happy Easter to you wherever you may be watching us from. Thank you for being part of today's service. I pray the purpose where you are part of today's service will be made known to you in the name of Jesus. Amen. Happy Easter once again. God bless you. Amen. We are going to celebrate the Lord like never before. Just like what the what the man of God said. You know, a lot of things that we that, that we have or that we know that not allowed to serve God properly. You know, the Mary Magdalene, the Salome, and the other Mary, the mother of Jesus Christ, they were just worried. And we don't have to be worried because God did not need anyone from us. All what God needed is for us to be a witness. We don't have to do anything. Just go out here and be a witness. You see, the church of God is being empty because we refuse to do what we have been called to do. We have to go out there and be a witness. Tell them what the Lord has done for you. Tell them that Jesus is coming soon. That's just the purpose of the assignment. We have to go out there and tell them. Be a witness to them. Tell them about Jesus Christ. Tell them the purpose of today. And if you refuse to do it as a Christian, beloved, our faith will be, will be kind of, it's useless. Let me say our faith will be useless. If there's no resurrection, then there's no Christianity. So if you want to be functioning in God's, in God's glory, we have to go out and evangelize. And I pray the Lord will grant all the grace to do what he has called us to do. In the name of Jesus. And we are going to use our dance offering this morning to honor the name of God. To appreciate what he has done for us. May our praise and worship be acceptable in the name of Jesus. He's alive, amen. He's alive. Jesus is alive forever. He's alive, amen. He's alive.
you. We give you all the praise. We thank God because he has risen. And because he has risen, we have our hope will not be in vain. Father, we thank you. We appreciate you. Because you are risen able to restore us to our glory. You are risen to restore our lives, to restore our destiny. Father, we appreciate you. Because our belief in Christ is not in vain. Because the devil will not be able to mock us because of our faith. Father, we give you all the praise this morning. We appreciate you. Bless them in the name of God. In the name of God.
I have some of your details so I could just say them. No need to ask you. It's living in Nine Tofa. Um, it's been promising. We come. We give God the glory. It's here. I'm still expecting one. The one your friend yesterday. I know the Lord will do His work. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. Remain standing while we the church give you a proper welcome. Church, let's welcome. Sunday after that and the Sunday after that you know the place already, you have the address I know you are living just a stone throw. so if, we, if you decide to walk, it will not take you five minutes we are expecting you please, when you have the time I pray the Lord make time for you, be a part of us Amen, welcome yes um, it is time for the kids choir Hallelujah
Amen. Amen. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. Praise Master Jesus. Amen. Yes, it is time for the main sermon. So, hold somebody. Tell him that you love him. Put your hands together. Lord, punch me. 
Don't let the blood of your soul be in vain over my life. Lord, touch me. Lord, sanctify me. Sanctify my tongue. Sanctify me. Touch my life. Relieve me, O oh Lord. Every bundle of sin. Father, let the blood of your soul shatter them. In the name of Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Father. For in Jesus' name we pray. Show your glory in that business. Show your glory in that body. 
Lakote katali brani ya nikiti. Return the candle wosi kate. Ratate ne wosi kate ne brani kate. Father, show your glory. If in midst of that operation, show your glory. Show your glory. Let us gather and celebrate. Ir katali brani kati ni bush. Lakote ni brani kati ni. Father, we thank you. Oh, kaso kete brani kete bush. Pick that person and pray for them. I know there is a miracle after this prayer. We have did that before, and the amazing miracle that follow. Just pray with someone. There's nothing that God cannot do. There is nothing you cannot do. Protocol breaker. There is nothing you cannot do. Jehovah, I have tasted of your love. I have seen your mighty love. There's nothing God can do. Just mention those things and pray from your heart for that sister. Some of them they don't know what they are praying. They will have to take possession of their hearts. They will have to take possession of their home. Some have been sent from the pit of hell to derail you. Pray for them that they encounter Christ. Pray for them. Pray for them. Jesus said they do not know what they are doing. They want to crucify me, but they don't know what they are doing. Pray for that sister. It doesn't matter what they have done to you. Just wish them well. Pray for them. It doesn't matter how far they have hurt you. Say, Lord, save their soul. Lord, save their soul. Lord, save their soul. Lord, save their soul. Lord, bring them back to you. For they don't know what they are doing. Because of the death and the reason of Christ today. Say, Lord, let your power be real in that sister's life. Let your glory be visible in that life of that brother. Let your glory be visible in that marriage. Let your glory be visible in that ministry. Let your glory be visible in their body. Lord, do that as possible with you. Thank you, Jesus. I am the Father, Almighty Father, He is King of Kings, the Lord of all. I am the Father, Hallelujah. I am the Father, Almighty Father, He is King of Kings, the Lord of all. to ask God whatever you want God to do for you personally, just begin to ask God. Believe in Him, have faith in Him and we do that that He said we do. Just begin to ask Him. Ask Him, ask Him. Whatever thing that is too difficult for you to handle, it is doing for Him to enter. If it's not difficult for Him, for you, God will not enter. If you still prefer to reassure yourself, God will leave you. But when it's difficult for you, then God will enter. You see, is there anything too difficult for me? Something there is not. Don't be able to ask him. I don't know prayer that will be praying for years that no answer has come. Heaven has just been hopeful. Your answer has been delivered. Just open your mouth and begin to tap to that answer. You need to ask and begin to take that answer. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. For in Jesus' name we pray. Eternal Rock of Ages, we thank you. We bless you, Father, because of answer our prayer. We thank you because there is nothing that you cannot do. We thank you, Father, because your son rose from grave. Then we were put to shame. Sickness were put to shame. Arrows were put to shame. Evil God were put to shame. Assault were put to shame. Every ill name were put to shame. Rejection were put to shame. Lord, we appreciate you for the gift that you have given unto us. To, for a man to share his blood for our sake. Father, we say thank you. What a love. Lord, we appreciate you. Lord, as we go into your world spiritually, touch life, meet them at the point of their need. Draw them closer to you. 
in the name of Jesus. Reestablish the love of Jesus in their hearts. In the name of Jesus, refine their relationship with you. In the name of Jesus, make them more committed than before. In the name of Jesus, whatever thing that seems impossible to them, the same way that to the devil they thought they have shut Jesus up, but to make him to rise again. Father, whatever that seems death in the life of your children, whatever that seems impossible in their life, Lord, as your son has risen, let everything that the devil has put death rise again in their life. In the name of Jesus, whatever death situation in their home, Father, as Jesus has risen, Father, let their situation rise again. In the name of Jesus Christ, whatever that be death in their potential, because Jesus has risen, Father, Lord, arise for their potential. In the name of Jesus Christ, let the Holy Ghost steer on them up. In the name of Jesus, that thing that is in them to make them great. Father, ask from today, let them receive it. In the name of Jesus Christ, everything that the devil has blinded their eyes not to see. Lord, because of your son, open their eyes. Let them see. In the name of Jesus, every of their calling and their vision, Father, open their eyes to see it. Direct them and guide them. In the name of Jesus, direct their children. In the name of Jesus, Lord, we pray for every of our children. The same way the devil failed concerning Jesus, I pray, devil will fail over our children. Devil will fail over their vision. In the name of Jesus Christ, whatever God has given to us that make us to be happy, devil will not take it away from us. In the name of Jesus Christ, Lord, as we are praying today, we are praying for all churches where your name will be called today. Lord, answer them speedily. In the name of Jesus, perform your wonders, perform your miracle. In the name of Jesus, win so more to you. In the name of Jesus Christ, those who are under the sound of my voice, Lord, I pray for them. Whatever thing that make them to backslide, whatever thing that tie them to hell, because Jesus has risen, let those shackles be broken. In the name of Jesus, let those shackles be loose. In the name of Jesus, I pray for those who are sick in any organ in their body, in their liver, in their stomach, in their mind, in their joints, every part of their body where there is illness or sickness. The Bible says he sent his word, and only that word healed them. Lord, I pray for such under the sound of my voice. Let them be healing their body. Let them be strength over their body. In the name of Jesus Christ. Whatever thing that causes pain, Lord, Father, I sent your word to go to the source and let it be rooted out. In the name of Jesus Christ. Lord, I soak everyone under the sound of my voice and the blood of Jesus. We thank you, Father, because you are Lord. Father, Lord, God, when you drop a sound, let every one of us break it. In the name of Jesus Christ. Thank you because of Lazarus. I hide behind Jesus. Let Jesus alone be saved and not me. Every self is crucified in me. In the name of Jesus Christ. Let only your word be spoken with power with strength, with deliverance in the name of Jesus Christ. Thank you because of answer. For in Jesus' name, we pray. Praise the Lord. Shout again, hallelujah. And the sister is present. The Lord bless you all in the name of Jesus. All the children will stay here today together with us. God bless you. Say your neighbor, I am alive. Say because Jesus is alive. I am alive. My children are alive. My home are alive. My body are alive. My business are alive. In the name of Jesus Christ. I'm going to speak shortly today before we leave the service. And I pray that God Almighty will touch your hearts in the name of Jesus. And I'm going to be speaking about He is alive. He's alive. Amen. He's alive. Jesus is alive, forever is alive. Ah, is alive, amen. He is alive, Jesus is alive. There will be nothing called Christianity. 
If devil succeeded in killing Jesus, death took him, and he just died like that, we will not be gathering here today. There will not be any opportunity with us to say, I am a Christian, I am a born again. You won't be able to refer to anything. Even when you refer to something, people can tell you. Somebody promised you that if you die, that a place is going to prepare for you. But the person himself is not alive. You can only promise what you have. Hallelujah. Yeah. Jesus promised life because he has life. Hallelujah. Shout hallelujah. hallelujah. He promised life because what? He has life. Muhammad did not promise life. Even in the Quran. He said, I am dying, but I don't know where I am going. He doesn't know where he's going. But Jesus knew where he's going. He knew he's going to his father. Not only going to his father, he's going to prepare a place for you and for me. I always tell people who care to listen that every word that Jesus says, we must take them very serious. Everything that Jesus asks us to do or says, guidance, leadership that he has given, promises that he made, we must line by line in the Bible, underline them, and run with them. Because none of them will be left without fulfillment. Everything that I have said. So if he says he's preparing a place for me, that's what he know. Give me hope. That's what alone makes me to understand my neighbor cannot be in vain. I can't serve him in vain because he said he's going to prepare a place. Before he's dead, he told the people that I'm going to leave, but tell him something. I'm going to write it on day. But that war to them, they think, oh, you. See, I'll put that this table and build it in training. People were thinking, how is it possible? Even the disciple. If, if most of us are there, even me. Because I have not happened before. If we are there, what do we say? We say, oh, where? Have you ever seen anybody that died and rose again? We won't believe. Just the same way when uh, Noah were building the ark, he was telling the people, there will be a downfall of rains. But because people have not seen rain before, before then, rain were coming from the ground. God were watering the ground from, from the dew from the ground. So they haven't seen anything called rain, that pool of rain. Talk like to see a rain that will overpower people, that will kill people. They were like, what is he talking about? The same way people are looking at us as Christians are stupid. They look at you as someone that will brainwash. If you tell people about Christianity, they think they are dumb people. They are stupid people. They are brainwashed. How can you give you all this commitment to Jesus? The person you didn't say. The same way they told Noah, it's not possible. Where would the rain come from? But thank God because his family believes in him. That's why it's important you carry your family along. If your family does not believe in you, you are going nowhere. It's difficult for you to go somewhere. They must believe in you. Praise God. Thank God his family believed, his children believed. They took them together. He tried to save his own. Because people care less to listen. But the Bible says they were all, they all perish. I pray you will not perish in the name of Jesus. Amen. Because when God says something, he meant what he says. He wants to do what he says. If God says he's going to use you to do it, if he refuses, You'll be surprised who will raise to do the same work. You'll be shocked that you're going to raise somebody. So when you think it's only you, you are deceiving yourself. There are thousands of alternatives. Go ahead, that prophet. She said, I'm the only one, only you, if you don't so. Thousands are available to do the job. Praise God. Amen. If you fail to seize the opportunity that we have, that He has given to us to be alive, to serve Him for what He has did for us. He singularly showed himself that I'm going to tell the people how God wants us to behave. He came shortly to show us the way. 
And while he was living, he paid the debt that we own. He carried the body of your sin. Take it with him. Your mistakes, Jesus took it with him. Your adultery, fornication, stealing, lying. He said, put it on me. Because that's why I came. Put them on me. That's why I'm here. But first, I'll show you what you must do. But now I'm giving you a clean sheet. A new beginning. Start afresh. That's what it makes. You wipe away your sins. Take away your pains. Take away your worries. At the end of the cross, you say, what is it? It's finished. I have completed what I have been sent to do. I have taken all your bodies away. I have taken all your shames away. I have taken all your sins away. And he died for you. Well, after three days, he came. And my spirit, we're going to use the book of Luke chapter 24. Luke chapter 24. From this one, this is a story we know. About how Jesus rose from grave. What happened? And if you go to us, let me say just first read Luke. Luke 24. Now, upon the first day of the week, very early in the morning, the day came unto the spot, seventh day, bringing the spices which they had prepared, and sat in order with them. And they found the stone rolled away from the sepulchre. And they entered in and found not the body of the Lord Jesus. They won't find you where they left you. Amen. They see you before on mine. When they go to see you next, you will come with your own hands. They see you being sick before. When you are coming again, you are coming here. Amen. They see you with no hope. When you are coming again, you are coming with all four. In that name of Jesus Christ. Amen. They thought your children cannot rise again, but the Bible made you to say they did not find him where he was. Amen. There's a change of position as I speak. Amen. A change of position in your finance. Amen. Over your business, a change of position. Amen. In that name of Jesus, Amen. your work with Christ, a change of position. Amen. In that name of Jesus Christ. Amen. The Bible says, and it came to pass as they were most perplexed. There about, behold, two men stood by them, by them in shiny garments. Verse 5. And as they were afraid and bowed down their faces to the earth, they said unto them, Why seek ye the living among, among the, the dead? dead? Say, I'm no more among the dead. No no among the dead. Say, my children are no more among the dead. My children are no more among the failure. My home is no more among the failure. I am no more among the dead. In the name of Jesus Christ. Say, it's no more here. You can't seek the living among the dead. It means you don't belong to where the dead want to put you. They put Jesus in the grave. But the Spirit of God quickened his body. He rose. I pray for somebody a home in life today. The Spirit that quickened Christ, that Spirit, spirit will quicken your mortal body. Every sickness will leave you. In the name of Jesus, it will quicken your marriage. Your peace will be restored. Amen. In the name of Jesus, Amen. it will quicken your business. Amen. In the name of Jesus Christ. Amen. Because you are looking for the failure in your home. Your home is not made for a failure. Absolutely. None of your children will fail. Amen. They won't fail in their vision. Amen. In the name of Jesus, Amen. they will not fail in their career. Amen. In the name of Jesus Christ. Amen. He is not here, but what? He is risen. Remember how he what he spoke unto you when he was yet in Galilee. Mm -hmm. This is the prayer we have. To believe what Jesus said. And that's why I said everything that he said, he meant them. He has told them before what will happen. What? Because of lack of faith, unbelief. When they got there, they were afraid. Normally, they should get there, and when they didn't see him, they would have said, Thank you, Jesus. His word has come to pass. But yet, they got there, the Bible they were afraid. They were thinking, What happened? They were forgotten what he told them. Because they don't want the word serious. Just like if any one of us are there, when he was saying that, they would say, What, what is he talking about? How could he rise? From where? 
You know how they bury them? They, in uh, Israel, they, they will bow their hand. You will see the story of Lazarus. They will bow their hand, bury everything, bury them together. In case of Lazarus, he even needs someone to lose him. But oh, Jesus never needed anybody. Praise God. I pray for you. The help you need, God will provide. I said, the help you need, God will provide. In the name of Jesus. He doesn't need anybody to lose him. But Lazarus needs somebody. Jesus is lose him and let him go. But in case of Jesus, God himself do what he's able to do. And that is why I know God will do what he's able to do in your life in the name of Jesus Christ. Saying the Son of Man must be Delivered into the hands of sinful men and be crucified and be told me what? Rise again. He said it. The same day he said, I am going now and prepare a place for you. The same way he told them, I am going to die and, be, and come back and rise again. They never believe. The same way he said today that there's a place called hell and what? Okay. Eternal life. He's always giving us instruction. Because you love us so much, if you love somebody, you will warn them ahead. Mm -hmm. If you are driving on the highway, for example, and there's a cough, we always see a sign. So the sign is telling not to slow mm -hmm. down because there's a bear in the head. I have seen some people they think we're an expert driver. <laughs> we can make it. They find themselves in the niche. Mm -hmm. Because they fail to heal the warnings. There's always a warning. Even in our own life, anything we want to do in life, in some of some of us, we don't take heed or we are not conscious enough to listen to the signs. There are signs that will happen that you will see that something is about to happen. But if after the thing happens, that you say, Oh, if I knew, I would have heed to these signs. There's always a sign. But sometimes we are taken over by our flesh. By what we see, by what we hear, that we ignore the little little signs. But it was after the incident, then we little think, oh, that thing, there's a warning. There's always a warning. The same way Jesus is warning you and warning me. That after we die, there's a place we are going to. And he's telling us, I am going to prepare it myself for you. And at the point the Bible says, I'm going to stand by the gate. I know what I'm going to ask questions. He will say, Who are you? I say, Apostle Adam. He said, Okay, I know your name, but I don't, I've not seen you, what you did. Praise God. Amen. That will not be for me the name of Jesus. Amen. He's going to look at the record. That's what he said. And that made me to be afraid. Anything that he said is bound to happen. Just register, register that in your mind. It will help you. Just put it in your mind. Them in your mind what has he said concerning your work with him what are the things that he said he said i'm going to my father he knows exactly where he's going to and because he's going he said i'm not going to leave you like what an orphan because if he left us with no spirit in us to direct us devil will take over devil will take over and that's why when you look at the life of a sister and a brother that are living their life with no care, it's because the Spirit of God is missing. They have not energized the Spirit of God himself. Because I'm going, but I'm going to leave a spirit. I'm going to ask my father to send down a spirit so that the spirit will keep on directing us. Why he was here, he was directing us, leading us, telling us what to do. But in this case, I'm going to send a spirit now. I'm going to duplicate myself that I can be anywhere. I can be here, I also be in Nigeria. And that's why thousands of churches are calling on him today and he's everywhere. Praise God. Hallelujah. Because he has set down the spirit. And this is what he says. So the same way he said, remember what he's told you. You think he's joking with his word. Jesus never, never joke with any of his word. And that's why he tells us that our Yes, we must be here, and our name must be there. He says, We're going to give account of every careless word that we say. So, Jesus cannot say careless word, cannot say what he doesn't mean. Everything that he says is surely mean it, and that we must take them serious. If you want to walk with Christ, we must begin to look for the work that Jesus did, 
We begin to look for the what is said and we begin to act on them. And begin to act on them. Everything that is said, whatever it meant, just begin to act on them. That will help you. If you can seal it in your mind that the word of Christ is not a careless word, it's not a word that is spoken for form. Everything that you said, it meant it. If you said there's a place, it means there's a place. If you said there's a hell, it means there's a hell. If you are saying there's eternal life, it means there's eternal life. If there is none like that, Jesus will have said contrary. He will have said no. These are not them. Anything that Jesus does not rule out, never in your life rule it out. It doesn't matter how your knowledge is. If Jesus did not rule them out, you must not rule them out. Because his war is here and there. He said, I'm going to stand by the gates. I give you chances. I have taken away your body. I have died for you. Use my blood to clear away your sins. We make the Christianity easy for you. That is, start afresh. But because people fail to believe, just like the disciple fail to hold on to his word until when he shows up, until when things happen, I pray it will not be too late for us in the name of Jesus Christ. Yeah. You will not see surprise when we die in the name of Jesus. Yeah. I always say, when people die, what first strike me is where is the person going? That's the first thing that comes to my Not for a crime. That is just come to and just strike me. Where is he going? Where is he going? Nobody knows. But according to the Bible, he's going somewhere. And at that point, prayer cannot help. It is your deed, your acts that will help you. If I like, go and organize 1,000 prayer points. Speak in tongue. The person that's going is going with what he is doing, what he has done, why he is alive. And that's a greater opportunity for you and myself because we are still here. We are still alive. We still have the opportunity to make the changes that Jesus has prayed for us. We still have the opportunity to change our life according to his will. We still have that great opportunity. And I pray that God himself will speak to us in the name of Jesus. Amen. Look at what Ma Matthew, can you open the book of Matthew please? Matthew 28. You will see how people gather together to stop Christianity. To silence Jesus. After he rose from grave, people gather that say, go and tell people that he never rose from grave. That people came to steal him from the grave. If you go down to verse, from verse 12, if you go to verse 12, and when they were assembled with the elders and have taken counsel, they gave them large money unto the soldiers. If, if you read from the beginning, you see that the soldier that was around the tomb where Jesus was buried, after Jesus rose, the soldier was torn, and when they woke up, they found that Jesus had risen up. They went and tell the story to their elders that what happened today, we have never seen it in our life. That a power came and Jesus is no more in the grave. And the elders said, keep your mouth shut. Never in your life say that to anyone. And if you look for that, he said, say, say he, his disciple, came by night and stole him away from where we slept. That they tell him, the, the soldier, don't say it that he rose. Keep your mouth shut. You want to give the effects to what he said? This man Jesus said he will rose. Don't help the story. Keep it short. But go out and tell people that his disciples were the one that took him and stole him away from the grave. He never rose. They stole him of which they knew he rose. But they want to hide the truth. Until now, you go to Israel, some part of Israel are saying the same story that they never rose, it was told. Because that is what they want you and myself to believe. They want to kill Christianity. They want to silence his word. They want to make sure that his word come to no effect. But nobody can stop him. The same way they can't stop him, I know they won't stop you. Amen. In the name of Jesus. Amen. It doesn't matter how, no, how light they are, the number, how powerful they are. They can't stop you. They won't stop you. They won't stop your children. In the name of Jesus Christ. They wanted to stop it. They map up their plan. Say, don't say that. Keep your mouth shut. They will bribe them. So bribery is not today. They have been long 
The Bible says they gave them a lot of money to say, keep your mouth shut. Tell me, more, we must spread the truth. We must spread the truth. The truth will be spoken. Doesn't matter where you walk, what you do, where you find yourself, stand for the truth. Anywhere you go that you fail to stand for the truth, you are behaving like the soldiers that took money. Yeah, he said, don't say it. Let us disapprove his word. Nobody can disapprove his word. So that people will say he said it, but it doesn't come to pass. Tell people that they stole him. Lies from the pit of hell. Tell people his disciple came in the night and they stole him. Just try to silence Christianity. Yes, thousands of years ago, people are making that plot to silence Christianity. That plot is real even today. People are making plot to make sure that Christianity has no effect. It's not even fashionable anymore for you to go to anywhere when they ask you, are you a pastor? Some people cannot even say they are a pastor again. Some are ashamed or feeling the feeling that if you say they are a pastor, a thousand of people will turn their head. Oh. Why? Because that's how the devil wants it to be. So that people will now begin to take the word of God with no seriousness. They pollute the internet. Of course, they, they are the one that want the internet. They pollute the, all kind of Ways not to speak less and water down Christianity so that our children will be lost <laughs> in the world, they will not have a compass, no direction, nothing to direct them. They will only live for their money, live for their self, nothing about the kingdom. And that's not how Jesus wanted to live. The same way that Noah took his family when there was destruction. The same with God is expecting you and myself to take our children along. That none will go to hell. Amen. I always tell people, hell is not wired, it's not prepared for you. It's too hot for you to say, I want to try. Oh, I want to gamble. I don't want to gamble my life. I don't want to get there and meet a surprise. It doesn't cost me enough, it, it, it doesn't cost me anything to render my service here when I'm still alive. I don't use anything. Okay, I may deprive myself of few things, but they are not important. Praise God. Hallelujah. What is more important is where he says he promised I will meet him. That's more important to me. I don't want to get there and meet a surprise. Where there will not be any chance for me to make a U turn. That rich man in the Bible, the Bible says he found himself in the, in the, in the hell, burning in fire. He was asking. Please let me go back and tell my family. Let me go back and tell my children that this place is too hot. Some of our parents are crying. I say, I should have to go back and tell my children that all is not about flesh. There's a place more hotter. There's a place we are not expected to be. Some parents are looking back, weeping, crying. I don't want our whole case to be like that. That will not get that will look back at our children. That rich man was saying, give me opportunity to go and tell my children, tell my family that they must listen to what people are saying. That this is a place called here. He said, you know, just send somebody to go and tell them. And they reply then, if they can't listen to the prophets, to the pastors that preach the word to them, if they can't believe it, even if you send somebody from hell, he said, they will never believe. They will still live their life as nothing happened. They will never believe. Because their mind has been made up to do what pleases their flesh. Which is temporary. I will tell somebody if I look at my life. 20 years in Netherlands is just like yesterday. I look at when I finished my secondary school. I still remember everything we did in secondary school. Just like yesterday. 
So if I'm giving the opportunity to use another 20 years, which just like psh. look at where the ministry started 10 years, just like it, just like in circles. And if you look at our life before you know 20 years plus your age, you demand yourself. All the foundation, all the pancake will not hold again. The reality will set in. Maybe if after the service, go outside and look at old man. See the way they walk, look at old woman. And imagine yourself in 20 years that you'll be in that position. Everything that you are running after will be useless. The mansion you build will be useless. The money you account cannot help your body. Because you are generating, you are going gradually. But the sound I'm giving to you today, where are you going? Do you believe what he says? That there's a place for you. Do you believe what he said? That I'm going to rise of which he did. If he rest, if he says prepare a place, there's a place. If he says I'm going to stand by the gates, I'm not going to ask you how many tongues have you spoken. He's not going to ask you what are the gifts that you have. He's going to ask you what have you done. The works that you have done. How committed are you to the kingdom? How helpful are you to the kingdom? How many lives have you won to the kingdom? These are the things that will be asked. And the gate is going to begin to ask him. You can say, I'm a pastor, I heal me, I do miracles with your name. You say, fine, that is good. You are giving that gift, that is good. But what are the cogent things that you have done to the kingdom? Because the healing, the miracle is not enough to save your soul. Your action to the kingdom, what you have done according to what he asked you to do. See, there's a narrow way, there's a broad way. Broad way, very easy to follow. Of which thousands of people are following. And that's why the people will be saying, could God be so wicked to allow a lot of people to go to hell? Could God be so wicked because a lot of people don't believe in him? Will he allow them? You have to remember what happened in the day of Noah. Only the family and the animals. Praise God. Hallelujah. That's if God is still alive. And even make it easy for us. He gave the son Jesus. Because these people have not listened. Just go and show them. Tell them exactly what the father wants from us. Show them exactly what I'm expecting. Tell them the promise I have for them. They can abide by the rules. Jesus came as a life jacket to save us from drowning. He came up to save us from drowning. But yet people think Jesus is joking. Some people believe it's just a storybook. Everything that the, the world, the thing you call the storybook has said, have all come to pass. Before they started bombing in the East, all the fight they had been written. How each man and the generation will be like a white animal. How they're going to fight themselves. It is to be written. When it was written, people read it. And like, I believe after they read, uh, after they wrote it, people would say, ah, but they said they will be killing, they will be. But it doesn't happen immediately. But after some years, it started happening. Praise God. Hallelujah. Because Jesus said it, God wrote it, everything is in the Bible. It must come to pass. We must begin to take our life serious and take account of every action that we are doing. Does he align with him? Will this action send me to grave, to hell, or will this action save my soul? Every day, quantify your action. Look at your action as against what look at it compared to what Jesus has said. Before you do that adultery, commit that fornication, ask yourself if Jesus is sitting behind you, will you do it? Because we fail to understand that He sees everywhere, He sees your intent, He sees your heart, your action. Before you even do it, He sees it in your heart. We will begin to look at that, that He sees everything, and at the end, He's going to judge us. On every lies, every adultery, every stealing, every malice, whatever thing that has been written that we must not do, these are the things that we need to think and we need to check how well have we lived our life. I pray that God Himself will help you and your family in the mighty name of Jesus. As Jesus has risen, the Lord Himself will be real in your home and your family in the name of Jesus. Can we just stand on our feet? I want to stand my feet and begin to ask him, Lord, your word has been spoken.
Let this word be established in my heart. Establish your word in my heart. Give me a conviction to follow your word. Crucify every flesh. Every flesh that will push me against you. Lord, let them be crucified. Lord, let every flesh be crucified. Lord, touch my life. 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 Lord, I am sorry, Lord. I am sorry. Lord, I am sorry. Lord, I am sorry. Touch me, Lord. Revive me. Revive my walk with you. Touch my walk with you. Thank you, Jesus. For in Jesus' mighty name, we pray. Can we just lift up our offering before him? Take your offering and lift it before him. We need to pray to the offering. I pray that Lord Himself will accept every of our faith in the name of Jesus. Pray to your offering. Thank you, Jesus. Send your offering errand. Use it as a point of contact to every of your needs. You can use your offering to establish your relationship with Him. Say, Lord Jesus, I am so a seed. I said, no more to say. No more. I will live for every day. I will live for every day. I will live for you alone. Lord, I have established my walk with you, my right to walk with you. I said, bye bye to sin. I will not allow my flesh to rule my life. I will allow your word alone to rule me. I will allow your spirit alone to lead me. For in Jesus' name we pray. Amen. In the of ages, we thank you. Lord, we bless you for the offering of your children. Accept your offering in the name of Jesus. As we combine the offering with the church boss, Lord, let your church increase. In the name of Jesus, numerically increase your church. Spiritually increase your church. In the name of Jesus, everyone that bless your church, Father, bless them in return. Those who do not have, Father, bless them. In the name of Jesus. Those who are not convinced, Lord, convince them. In the name of Jesus. So I'm sowing this seed to establish a new walk with you. Lord, help them. In the name of Jesus. So I'm sowing seed concerning their business, concerning their children, concerning their health. Father, answer them. In the name of Jesus. Lord, I commit every home to your hand. Every poverty will command them out in the name of Jesus. The same way Jesus risen. Lord, let their life rise again. Let their hope rise again. Let their business rise again. Let their finance rise again. In the name of Jesus Christ. Thank you because of answer. For in Jesus' name, we pray. We give the Jesus is the robber. Jesus Christ has set me free 
has set me free. Because he has set me free. So I have freedom in everything that I do. In the name of Jesus Christ. And begin lift up your voice again. Begin to thank God for, the, for his word that has come forth. The Bible says he sent forth his word. And his word has come for this day of resurrection. Or when we celebrate this day of resurrection. Which had happened over 2,000 years ago. Begin to thank God for the word of God. Begin to thank God for the man of God. That God has used as an instrument. Begin to thank God for his wife. Begin to thank God for his children. Begin to thank God for the ministry. Oh, ladies and gentlemen, brethren in the Lord. The Bible said to you, in the book of Acts, they were together again in fellowship and in prayer and in breaking of, 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 of bread. Begin to thank God. Oh, ladies and gentlemen, do not be lukewarm to the things of God, but be warm. It's either your cold or your hot. Be hot. Be hot in the things of the Lord. Even as we are closing this afternoon, begin to thank God for what God has done this afternoon. This day, the Bible says this is the day that the Lord has made. This is the day of salvation. This is the day of healing. This is the day of empowerment. This is the day of upliftment. This is the day of deliverance. This is the day of breakthrough. This is the day of resurrection. This is the day of upliftment. This is the day that God is fighting your battles in the name of Jesus Christ. So as we are going in, oh Kalosh. Now the Bible says in Isaiah 53, the verse 1, the Bible says that two questions have been asked. Who has who has believed our report? And to whom has the hand of God been revealed? Oh, the report of the Lord, the report that He has saved you, the report that He has saved me, the report that His word has come this afternoon and has been a blessing to me, the blessing to you. Begin to lift up your voice. And to whom has the arm of God been given? Has the arm of God been given in your life this afternoon? To the power of His word that has come forth. Say, Lord, I thank you for your arm that has been given in my life. And I bless your name. And I give the praise. Begin to commit this week to this week to the care of the Lord. Say, Lord, I commit this week, the rest of this week, the rest of the month of April, I commit it into your hand, oh God. Oh God, may the power of resurrection never depart from my home, from my life, in the name of Jesus Christ. Thank you, Father. As we close, thank you, Father. Oh, thank you, Father. Thank you, Father. Lift up your hands and worship. Oh, thank you, Father. Oh, thank you, Jesus. Thank you. Oh, thank you, Jesus. Oh, thank you, Jesus. Oh, thank you, Jesus. Oh, thank you, Spirit. Thank you, Spirit.
God bless you. God bless you. God bless you. God bless you. Let's share the grace. May the grace of the Lord be seen with you. And the love of God and the sweet fellowship of the Holy Spirit be with us now and forevermore. Amen. Goodness and mercy for us all the days of our lives. And we shall dwell in the house of the Lord forever and ever. Seven amen as one.